y'all hey it's your girl andrea b and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here do not forget to like comment and subscribe this channel is all about lifestyle self-development faith and just being the woman that you are called to be okay period so today's video i wanted to hop in and talk about the books that i'm going to be reading for q1 so i know everyone has like this long list of books that they want to read for the year and quite frankly i want to be realistic because i'm pretty sure i'm not going to read all those books in one year so i thought about what about breaking down my books into quarters so Q1, I only have four books that I'm going to read. Um, and so hopefully I'm thinking maybe that's a book a month and dedicate at least 10 to 15 minutes a day um, to read them. Because, y'all, I got to get back on my reading grind. Because if you saw my vlog earlier this week, I like I used to love reading. But I think as we get older, we have something in our hand that's way more uh, fascinating and way more like engaging than just reading a book. And I definitely want to get back to that. And this year, it's really all about self-development. It's really all about hearing stories of people who came from the bottom and not at the top, right? Or who got it out the mud. And that's what my focus is. My focus is developing those great habits. My 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 goal is to get out of that fear of like being great and the fear of actually accomplishing something like my goal is to understand why things happen whether they happen whether it's through family trauma whether it's through just personal experience but developing my whole self right not just what i look like on camera what i look like on instagram what I like on you know on all my platforms but developing the internal right so that every time y'all see me now i'm not gonna say that it's always gonna be good every time y'all see me but i definitely want to do the work to get myself to a place to where you know i can handle those things like i don't have to self-soothe with things that don't make sense right so that spiel let's get into the books that i'm going to be reading for q1 2024 so the first one is Good Habits, Bad Habits by Wendy Wood. So when I went into Barnes & Noble, I was like, okay, like the um, the title was very catchy. And I'm like, okay, this is not what I came in here for. But I think I want to take a crack at it. Um, and then the really thing that got me was it says we spend a shocking 43% of our day doing things without thinking about them. This means that almost half of our actions aren't conscious choices, but the results of our non-conscious minds nudging our bodies to enact learned behaviors. How we respond to the people around us, the way we conduct ourselves in meetings, what we buy, when and how we eat, exercise, and drink. It's a lot of things that we do and we operate beyond our awareness. And I was like, oh, shoot. But it's because we do them out of habit. And it was like, Whenever we want to change something, we rely on willpower. We keep turning into our conscious selves, hoping that our determination and intention will be enough to affect positive change. And that is why almost all of us fail. Because we're not developing the habits. And I was like, dang, like, why they had to come for me like that? Because that is definitely me in a nutshell. Like, you always think about doing things that you never really think about. Like... You know eating, you have to eat every day, right? But what are you eating? Like, what choices are you making to eat? Like, are you eating healthy? Are you eating bad? Like, you know? So I was like, hmm, this one's going to be definitely a good one. I said, because, baby, she talking to me. She talking to me. So Good Habits, Bad Habits by Wendy Wood. First one. Second one is I Hope You Fail by Pinky Cole. So I remember um, when this book first launched, I was like, dang, like... I need to get to the store. I need to get that because if you follow Pinky Cole, Pinky Cole will tell you that she has failed, right? Like she has lost restaurants, restaurants burnt down, like lost money, lost businesses. But the fact is her failure is the thing that shaped her into who she is today, right? We wouldn't know Slutty Vegan if she didn't fail, right? We wouldn't know Pinky Cole if she didn't fail. And so I was like, okay, God, I like this. I want this. Um, and then got it from Barnes and Noble, but it's also linked in my Amazon storefront, which would be in the, the box down below. But I was like, okay, I could do this. And so it's really short. It's only about, let's see, like 200 pages. 
I said that like 175. So my goal is to definitely get into this and get these and get this going because uh yeah, it's pinky cold for girl's sakes, right? Um, and then another one that I will be reading, I'm gonna put the uh picture on the screen. I'm gonna be reading Fear is my homeboy. Let me see. I took a screenshot of it because y'all have to order this book. I was in Barnes and Nobles and they didn't have it. And I was like, it's fine. Um, but Fear is My Homeboy by Judy Holler. It says how to slay doubt, boss up and succeed on your own on your own terms. And I'm like, yeah, I need that. <laughs> yeah, I need somebody telling me, baby, it's time for you to boss up. It's time for you to get out of that, that scared mindset and get to work. And then the other one that um, I want to read is uh, Good Vibes, Good Life by Vex King. It is a two-part book, so Good Vibes, Good Life, and then it's Healing is the New High. So I definitely want to um, read these books as well. So I bought these two to start with, and then I'm going to order um, the, these next two books once I finish these two. I don't want to um, just buy books, and I haven't read the ones that are in front of me, and I'm being realistic about that. Um, but my goal is to read at least 10 to 15 minutes a day, and especially like with how short this book is, I'll probably could be done in like two weeks. This book, I'll probably take me about a month, not even going to cap, because y'all, reading is, reading is a skill. And what I mean by that is, it's like when you have the hustle and bustle of every day, right? So in my case, like raising a kid, having to do school pickup, having to go work out, you know, having to go do other things that make life life. And then you want to sit down and quiet yourself and read. It's going to take some time and it's going to take some practice, but I am challenging myself to do that this year. I'm challenging myself to do the things that make me uncomfortable, but one book that I always read every single day is the Bible. Okay, now I'm not pushing this on you, but I'm just saying for my believers that watch me and for my faithful people that watch me, y'all know how important it is to read the Bible every day. And the trick that I have for the Bible is that when you are talking to God, just ask God like, hey, where do you want me to start or where should I be I'm focusing my attention? Because y'all, the Bible is very meaty. The Bible is a little messy. The Bible is a little petty, but anything it is the book. It is the, the blueprint for everyday life. And I would say if you're just starting out reading the Bible, read in Proverbs. Proverbs are literally, is literally advice for what we go through every single day. And that's where I started. And right now I'm at the beginning of the Bible in Genesis. So I definitely encourage you, like, if you're looking to start reading and you don't want, to want a book, go buy a Bible and just read. And I guarantee you, you're going to be in that thing like, what? Jesus, what? yeah it's 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 one of those it's one of those um so yeah those are the books that i'll be reading for the um for q1 so again good habits bad habits screenshot it take it right there okay and then i hope you fail i think you call and then if you want to get you a bible this is the one that I have right here. <laughs> and then, y'all, I just want to let you know that developing yourself in this day, in this time, is very important, right? Because we are getting ready, as some people already are. We're walking into one of the best years of our lives, right? Like, no matter what's going on in the world, 2024 is going to be that year for you, okay? But you have to get in there. You have to get in the lab, and you have to motivate yourself, develop yourself in ways that no one has ever seen you develop before because trust and believe god is getting ready to call on you and god is waiting for you to develop yourself and get yourself together so he can take you to the next level right so don't sit and worry about what everyone else is doing how can you be feeling yourself right how can you be fueling yourself with the things that you need to know from when God gets ready to open that door for you. Because, baby, it's coming. The doors are coming, okay? But take the time to develop your mindset. Take the time to develop your emotional, right? Take the time to develop your physical. Because, trust me, for us that are public speakers and do hostings and things like that, baby, working out is key, okay? Working out is key. You can't hold a mic if you can't hold your breath. And that's just that's just that on that. But... 
self-development is just so important y'all and i guarantee you you will feel so much better like after like for real like after i read these two books i am going to feel so much better about myself so i'm like dang girl you did that like you stuck to your word and you did that and y'all it's possible you just have to make the time and you have to want to make the time right you have to want to do the things that shape you into who you are so that's my little tidbit the books that I'm going to be reading for Q1. And I just hope and pray that this video has blessed you. I pray that this video has given you some type of like jump start into where you need to be heading um, into 2024. And leave your book recommendations in the comment box. Like, what are you guys reading? Because I may need to hop on that book too. And I definitely want to. So that's it. That's all. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in another video. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And share this video to somebody that needs it. Maybe they don't know where to start and what they need to be doing, what they need to be reading. And this is a good a good place for them to start. And all the books that I mentioned um, will be linked in my Amazon storefront. So you guys could just click the link, order your books, and have them shipped to you no problem. Or if you want to go in the bookstore, you could definitely check out Barnes & Noble's. Um, these two are in there for sure. Um, and then the other two books I mentioned, you will have to order. Um, so I just would say if you can get on Amazon, just order them on Amazon and just, you know, be done with it. I just hadn't been in the bookstore in a long time and I just wanted to check it out and see if it's look the same and which it does. So <laughs> I was just excited about that. So yes, stay tuned. We got more videos coming and I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in the next one. Peace.